Hello everybody, hi, welcome back to Old Style Classics, Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. There's my uh, show of that card for the day. Hi, this is Rob at Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. It's now uh, February 18th, 2024, Sunday, and um, took a long time to upload that video and um, <clears throat> have it um, upgrade to HD. That uh, <clears throat> 1912 T205 Frank Chance, Harry McIntyre, and James Archer card, and the T207 Tex Covington Recruit Little Cigars card. I don't know why it took so long tonight for eBay. Excuse me for uh, YouTube to upload those cards. Um, but waited and waited and waited on those. So I hope you guys enjoy that video. Um, so today going to uh, do the rest of those tops packs show you my pickups from today and what I got yesterday um, so let's start with the recap so first we'll start with the T20 set 202 and that is the SGC 2.5 T202 Hassan cigarettes number 17 Chance beats out a hit. McIntyre and Archer card. And so you can watch the previous video on uh, February 17th about this card. And then this next one after that. That is one of the coolest cards I've ever gotten. And it's my, um, these are my first SGCs. That little wave in there. Uh, apparently is uh, just the way they were cut because they were folded up when they went in the packs of cigarettes but I guess when they were printed they folded them and that's how they cut them so obviously SGC and uh, PSA and all of them know about that that's just the way they are you can see it's uniform from top to bottom so it's just the way it works out and uh, those are epic cards of the Chicago Cubs um, couple guys there and then Frank Chance here um, <clears throat> Hall of Fame Cub from Tinkers Evers to Chance so that's a beautiful card give you a chance to read that if you didn't watch the previous video all right I'm not gonna spend too much time on any one of these because um, I spent half an hour on these on the last video so then we got an SGC grade of two, 1912 Recruit Little Cigars, T207 Tex Covington for the Detroit Americans or the Tigers. Um, Tex Covington, I guess they call him Tex because <clears throat> he come from the Texas League. Played with Ty Cobb. He is a pitcher though. Um, these are the coolest cards I don't I think I've ever seen. I mean those and the Alan Ginter originals just epic uh, I'll take that over T206 any day that's just beautiful um, hey if you think I'm crazy comment let me know um, please subscribe and like as well comment so we can interact uh, subscribe and like so that um, my videos can reach more people so old style classics baseball cards really bring in the old style old baseball cards today Pick these up at Stevens Creek Sports Cards here in San Jose. And um, they had another one in SG. Well, they had a number of them, but they had some on SGC. But I didn't want to get the SGC because it wouldn't have matched this one as well. So went ahead and pulled my trigger on those two because I missed out on that auction earlier this week. Where I was going to spend about $100 more than these two cost together. And I mean, just look at the centering on that card, people. I mean, yeah, there's some rounded corners and a little chipping there, but, and some patina there on the back, maybe a glue spot or something. But look at how that presents. Look at how good that looks in that tuxedo. I'm not a graded card kind of guy, but yeah, that just looked epic. 
and it looked way better in this than the SGC ones did and that was higher graded so anyways that's my pre-war stuff I have for you um, yesterday nobody's been watching the video or I guess the day before yesterday um, from eBay I did pick up the finally after like three weeks my Valena Jonathan Valena Valena mini framed autograph out of 2023 Allen and Ginter came in took like three weeks even though I won this on auction and they charged me a ton to ship it I don't know what's with the deal with that dude um, but that took way too long to get here but that's cool it only cost me like 850 the shipping was almost you know the majority of the cost well I mean it was less than eight dollars it was five dollars to ship it which is ridiculous but won that on auction so that'll go in with my oddball mini frame autographs you all know I love tobacco minis now you know why I used to love those when I was a little kid always wished I could have had one now I have a pretty sweet looking one there uh, not big players by any means except for the chance um, He's a Hall of Famer, but is that not a cool looking card? Look at that old uniform. And then my cubbies. So anyways, got the Valena yesterday, the day before. <laughs> and then recently I picked up my Andre Dawson mini framed relic um, jersey card. Because I had the bat version of this card. I needed a jersey mini of Dawson, so there it is. That's 2019. So that's part of my PC there. All right, let's see what else we um, picked up. So at that uh, local card shop where I showed you up, uh, Lefty Sports Cards up there in um, Burlingame, your Burlingame, showed they had a bunch of um, candy and like bit of honey. So picked up one of those boxes and. Uh, little chew to get you through so that's cool I changed the logo and design brought that up in the past one of the videos I did and um, I don't know if this is an old or a new modern version of their um, packaging so there's what that looks like there pretty good I think that's new just based on the style of that B there. It'd sure be nice to get some um, oddball cards. I wish they would start doing them again in these like movie theater box size things. You know, put a little card right here. That'd be cool. But of course, Tops and Major League Baseball have ruined all that by being greedy. Set that aside. I won't eat it because you guys don't want to hear me chewing. Got a couple other snacks. Now these smell great. Now it's either you like it or you don't. But I got the blackjack chewing gum. And they taste wonderful. If you're a uh, black licorice kind of guy or person. Let's face it. Guys are the only ones watching my videos. So I love black licorice. Anyways that's not showing. Uh, but it only lasted about five minutes. So. But still, I mean, I never ate these when I was a kid, chewed on them, but I loved gum, but um, maybe I had them like once or twice, like my first 10 or 12 years, but I like black licorice, and that's very, very old school, old style chewing gum, see, old style classics, baseball cards, and other hobbies and cards. And now chewing gum. That's an old style, but obviously that's modern. So there you go. And to boot, I figured I'd pick some of these up. Some of the clove chewing gum. Didn't open that one yet. But get around to tasting that at some point in time. Then I got these cards and I'm not going to open them today but I'll just show you so I didn't know you can get them in a full pack so maybe there was like a send away a premium 
So the uh, Denny's 125th Anniversary Edition from Upper Deck Baseball Hologram Cards, like the Grand Slam Cards. You got Jim Abbott on the back there, the Yankees. And um, I looked it up online, and it uh, mostly shows, the, you know, ordering one of those meals that was specific baseball themed. <clears throat> you get a pack of a few cards. But apparently some of them came in this here uh, collector's edition set because it doesn't look like it was done second hand by somebody. So Upper Deck must have um, had some full sets that you could get somehow or another. So you know me, I like oddball cards. Now I prefer oddball like MSA and usually not the main um, <clears throat> card companies like Upper Deck or Tops. Um, I either like, like the MSA or like when Borden did them for Cracker Jack and stuff like that. Um, but still, oddball, I like that. You know, so I like old style classic baseball cards, tobacco, pre-war, um, oddball cards kind of stuff most people don't want but just like this um you know granted you got to go to 1887 i guess earlier but let's just start at 1887 <clears throat> when mass production baseball cards were out with like alan ginter and goodwin um that's what they were you got baseball cards at and other cards if you bought cigarettes so that's a product issue oddball that's how cards always were for the longest time there's a product issue oddball card to get you to go to Denny's and buy some food you can get some cards so that's why I like those kind of cards speaking of that I mean for 50 cents can't go wrong these uh, milk bone superstars so some of these players were with their dogs back then I guess if you bought milk bone dog treats you get one of these packs in there took a whiff doesn't smell like anything anymore but there we go look at that folks there's an MSA Michael Schenkner and Associates the main oddball card maker for the 70s, 80s, 90s, and perhaps early 2000s. So you can see you got Ben McDonald on the back there, and it was a 20 card set. So you got at least two cards per box of these dog bones, I guess. Dog treats, I should say. So Paul Molitor, so there you go. And uh, another short, another Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin, shortstop. There's uh, Dogs Kino and Roscoe. I wonder if old Roscoe was named after Roscoe Pico train from the Dukes of Hazard. Alright. And then look at that. Cal Ripken Jr. on the back. Another Hall of Famer. So, got at least four of these 20 cards set. And I believe I have a few other ones in my oddball box. But, I love the MSA cards. Those are actually some pretty nice looking MSA cards. Put them wearing the um, Players Association hats there. So obviously not licensed because no logo there. But I don't care. I like oddball stuff. So that's sweet. And it's not so odd to get cards from dog food because... They had those like in the 50s and maybe before. What is it, Red Heart? So there you go, some oddball. Then another oddball set I could open, but I'm not going to do right now. I got these up at Lefties. They did have a lot of oddball stuff there. But I saw this sitting in that case. The Ziploc cards. So I had to pick up these because I've never had these. Not that I know of. So there's my point. So I don't see it saying MSA anywhere on these, but the sticker's in the way. I guess I could take that off. Um, 
I'm not going to open them, but well, let's take it out of the bag at least. And the point being, I guess it's up here somewhere. And that's how long it's been sitting in this bag, folks. These are uh, 1991. That's an important year to me, so. Yeah, it doesn't say MSA on the front or on the back. But it does say uh, 1992 Dow Brands down here. So um, they could have had an MSA or some other company print those for them. Obviously, they had some other company do that, but um, doesn't say. Tops would almost always put tops on it. So either MSA did this incognito, which I doubt they would have done, or Dow just um, contracted some other company to do it. So that's those are the kind of oddballs I like. That's what I was trying to say, like MSA or just when the company does it themselves, like Dow they adhere and um, like Cracker Jacks had done some of their own before. Those mini ones, like the, the, I don't like calling them reprints, but the, the mini 1914 15 reimagined set, because they're obviously not the same size as the original cards, just a different number, different backing, but that's kind of oddballs I really appreciate. All right, I did pick up one. They had a hobby box sitting out there open, so I haven't seen that at our local card shops in years. <clears throat> well, I guess they do with some product, but I haven't seen a loose Allen & Ginter hobby um, where you could just go in there and take it out of the box and buy a pack. So uh, I grabbed this one because it felt a little heavier, but uh, mostly I wanted to get a mini card today, so grab that. Listen to my voice, people. It's going downhill. Sorry about that. Now, <clears throat> apparently I only have three packs of this Topps 2024 flagship from this um, jumbo, and I'll keep saying that, mega box. And um, I could have swore I was should have four more. I mean, had four left but apparently only got three so I must have opened an extra pack at some point in time. Old Cunha Jr. on the front of those. So we'll open these but before we get to that did pick up this numbered card out of this box so far. Rookie of Justin Martinez and that's kind of a throwback card old style you might say. And um But it's got the cardboard back, and look at that, it's 15 and 99. I think uh, 2024 is a really nice looking set, except it's way overproduced, so they're going back to junk wax. Um, and we got a gold numbered to 2024, so I guess that's rare now because they ha are overproducing by like hundreds of thousands. So. Obviously, uh, card number to 99, if you have um, 200,000 cards. And then if you have a card number to 99 and there's a million cards, obviously the one out of a million is a lot rarer than the one out of uh, 200,000. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got the Home Run Challenge Shohei Otani. Cool insert, Shohei Otani, greatest hits, love the front, not a fan of the back, Ellie De La Cruz on the stars of MLB, so that's perhaps one of the best to get, and uh, Nolan Chanel, one of these cracked ice or something, foil, something, 89 design there. All right, so we got those and some other stuff, you know. I think we've got a Cunha and some other stars, but we don't need to go into that. All right, so 
Let's start. Well, I'm going to start with Tops, and we'll end with the Elden Ginter. So, I'm uh, usually not a fan of Flagship, and I probably won't buy much more. Maybe I'll buy Hanger, because I heard they're pretty good. Uh, but I never get any hits out of Flagship. And as much, I think they're really good looking cards. Um, wow. Look at this. Uh, maybe that's, oh, maybe I thought it was a chip in the card. But we already got this one earlier. And it had a spot in the same spot there. And I thought that was paper loss, but maybe that's just part of the card. Because I don't feel anything missing there. So I don't know, that must be a printing error or something. But I'll have to compare it to the other one. There you go, Corbin Carroll, second year card. Um, some kind of printing error because I don't see any. You know, it almost looks like the next card had like something like in the stadium or uniform or something. It's poking over to this card, but who knows. But Corbin Carroll, solid. All right, and then we have, of course, these cards will be hard to get tans on because of the black. But I think that's a good thing because if they're overproducing, you don't want too many tins. Otherwise, that just destroys any value that might be there. And plus, they got way too many parallels. But Nathan Lowe, Victor Medeiros, rookie card for the Angels. Of course, the pitcher. Let's move these down a little bit. I guess I can adjust that just a tad. So you guys can see straight down. Sorry about the shadows here, folks. Adjust this camera a bit. Or I should say I should adjust my light a bit. Alright. They're cool cards that I like to design this year. I'm glad they're going something different. Future Hall of Famer, probably Justin Verlander. Give him a moment in the limelight, see kind of wins he has. Already right, getting close to 300 there. Eugenio Suarez, these landscape cards are epically really good looking this year, and that's cool. Look at the Mariners logo up there and the <clears throat> neon there. That looks really cool. Oh, yeah, so. Let's stop there for a second, folks, so that I can uh, shout out the people I forgot to shout out earlier. Uh, so apparently, like four hours ago, I got a new subscriber, Peacemaker. Looks like they just had started YouTube. Collector's Dream commented. Uh, thanks for sharing the shop. And it looks nice, and that's that uh, lefties. Someone liked your reply. They're pretty cool. So I don't know who someone is, but somebody responded. And once again, Vintage Card Steve um, had commented, and then Cardboard Nerd had commented a few times, and we kind of had a interaction, talk, you know, about him getting back into collecting, or at least baseball cards. So um, thanks everybody for watching and responding or liking and all that so i do appreciate it a collector's dream hope you subscribe to my channel i don't know if you are i don't i don't see it there but i like his collection he's got some really nice stuff especially like the cuban cards and a lot of those things and he obviously has a bunch of these old school cards these pre-war but i like uh, the uniqueness of his like cuban cards that he kind of um, it's kind of one of his focuses. So, Collector's Dream, uh, hope you subscribe to my channel. That'd be neat. All right, Chris Murphy, rookie card. I got a lot of Red Sox and a ton of pitchers. So, I guess that's series one. We're going to get a lot of pitchers. Salvador Perez for the Royals. There you go. Yandy Diaz. Tampa Bay Rays. All right, what do we get here? All right, we've got an 89 design. Um, Mark McGuire there. Got a throwback card. 
Um, the only thing I don't like about when they do these 35th anniversary cards is just weird to me to see the backs glossy because the old ones were never glossy. Well, at least in the 80s, you know. So these are 89 design. And I just opened that rack pack and that was epic rack pack, just beautifully centered, just like this card. And I got about four Hall of Famers in that rack pack. Along with my boy Andre Dawson, who was one of the cover cards. Alright, there you go, Shaka's Closet. Luis Robert Jr., he's a White Sox fan. Stars of MLB, much better this year. So they've made some changes. Another pitcher, rookie card. Emerson Hancock. So there you go. Alright, one of the best players out there right now, and I'd love to have him on the Cubbies. This one looks to be really good, like no chipping or anything. No white showing up there in the black, I don't see. Jordan Al Alvarez. Alvarez. Would love to pick this guy up for the Cubs. They could sure use a power hitter like that. Look at this guy's numbers, folks. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that guy hitting 33, 37, 31, whatever home runs for them every year? I'd sure like to have him. Put him and Pete Alonzo on the Cubs. Cody Bellinger. Kind of a murderer's row. So, big fan of Jordan. Should get some more love in the hobby. Lars Newt Bar, Cardinals. All right, next pack, folks. And then we'll be. I, that might have been the last pack in the box. So I kind of have them facing upside down here, but so I don't know if this next to last pack or what. But it's all the same. Probably not going to get nothing out of flagship. Maybe a numbered card. All right, National League leaders. For the pitching there. So, so yeah, I see this little white thing here. Doesn't feel like anything. It just must be a design flaw or something. Alright. Those are cool cards. 40 years from now, it might be uh, something good to have. Because if you couldn't afford like Code A or Snell's card, you could pick these up. Tampa Bay Rays. Alright, Hunter Green. Not the announcer for the Lobos and former Lobo basketball great, but Mr. Hunter Green. Alright, there's Brandon Marsh. I saw a ton of him in, in the 2022. Alan Ginter. Connor Joe. Used to have a friend last name Joe, but I don't think it had an E in it. Alright, here we go, folks. So I guess this might be the big one of the year of the rookie cards so far to pick up. Ellie De La Cruz rookie card, so that looks really good, so I guess I should top load that. So I've got an Ellie. So let's give it a second, give it a moment in the limelight here. So I guess going to have a rookie card, flagship rookie card. Um, probably the one to have. Or the Bowman first. But those aren't really rookie cards now, are they, folks? Alright. Jose Ferrer. 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 That's a pretty cool card. The Nationals um, up here looks pretty cool on that black background. And uh, that card looks really good with that background. So just the color, the dark color he's wearing goes good with that dark black and blue, right, folks? All right, that was like the tour of ACDC and Blue Oyster Cult, the black and blue tour, because back in black and Blue Oyster Cult. I think there was a riot at one of their concerts in Albuquerque, and ACDC didn't play there for about eight or nine years or something like that because of that 
<laughs> people rushed the gate to get in who couldn't get into the show. And uh, Mickey Moniak, Angels, Walker Bueller. All right, first card of him this year, 2024. So I guess we'll do it, kind of like uh, we do for old Bill Clinton and them boys. We're gonna go all right, all right, all right. Well, we're gonna have to do it, folks. Sorry, Bueller, Bueller, Walker Bueller. <laughs> ah, I have. I gotta keep myself entertained, folks. I guess I like to hear myself talk. All right, backwards, Garrett Cole. So it's gonna be an 89 design. All right, one of those sparkly cards. So I guess insert about every three or four packs. All right, Garrett Cole. All right, Mike Trout. For the hobby's sake, hopefully he bounces back. And finally, can be uninjured. All right, so that didn't look like we're getting a numbered card out of here, so we're going to have to look for some last pack magic, folks. Ronnie Marcio, Marcio or whatever. A rookie. Joe Adele, so I think that's how my friend spelt his last name. J-O. Oh, Nick. It's Joe Adele. And Jose Quintana. All right, folks, here we go. 2024, 14 card, series one, retail, mega box. The only thing I can think to name it, because it says top mega star insert, so. Um, but yeah, uh, I give um, 2024 flagship a thumbs up. I'm going to go so far as to give it two Bill Clinton thumbs up, which might be a little shy of two regular thumbs up, but that's like a thumb and a half up. So I give it an A for flagship. Now that's going to be graded on its own scale because flagship is eh, but everyone collects it. So I think it's a real winner this year. It's my point. Christopher Morrell. So we're getting some repeats now. Rookie, no, not even the rookie future stars. Yeah, I've got this card before. So I'm just kind of getting a repeat pack here. Darton Bar, Bar Show, Dalton Bar Show. Dominic Cazone, Cazone, Calzone, not rookie. All right, Taylor Ward. Wouldn't it be funny if we got the same numbered card? Daniel Volbeck, Vogelback, sorry. It's like a little bit of a Kyle Schwarber there, huh? Indy Rodriguez for you Pirates fans. The Mangini crowd. Adolis Garcia. There you go, Rangers fans. Congratulations to the Rangers, Emmanuel Valdez, Red Sox. All right, at least we've got a Chrome. So we got the. Mm, I have a few skills that can help. Do you need Chrome? Alexa, to stop. It? See, and just out of the blue, people. All right. Roni Mars Mars Mar Mauricio Mauricio. So. Those are the one stars of the MLB I really used to like was the Chrome ones, so those are cool. So that's neat. Getting a Chrome version of the rookie. All right, and then we got Grand Gamers. Just Cal Ripken Jr., just like in the Milk Bone card. So we got a uh, different insert set there, kind of a Panini uh, Cooperstown collection kind of vibe there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's neat, but I'm not a fan of when Topps does stuff like this. It, it kind of looks like something Panini would do, or like that Cracker Jacks, like the early 80s, like 82 or whatever, 83 Cracker Jack ones that I showed you, where it's got the Cracker Jacks and stuff around the edge. 
um, I don't know. That's Cal Ripken Jr. I mean, if you're a collector, that's a cool card to have, but meh. All right, Mr. Freddie Freeman, Stars of MLB. As a Dodger. All right, so apparently no graded cards coming. Rookie card of Gavin Williams. Again, a pitcher. Giving the pitchers their time in the limelight. 35 minutes already, jeez. Austin Gomber. Gomber. Let's see if he pitched in Albuquerque. Nope. Picked up from the Cardinals there. And the final card of this box, George Kirby. Alright, so. Um, we got two numbered cards in that uh, mega box. And uh, a couple chrome. I would I think we got two or three chrome. Stars of MLB. And a few numbered cards. So, yeah, we got like four of these, two or three of these. Got the best rookie probably in the set. Jordan, Corbin Carroll. And once again, like another one of these. So. I guess that's what you can expect, people. Like I said, you're not going to get hits. You know, you will get one home run challenge. Well, I don't know if you will get, but we got one home run challenge. At least it's Shohei, so that's cool. Uh, then we got a Shohei insert, which is a nice looking card. Of course, still on the Angels there. Then Mark Ventos, that's numbered to 20, 2024, one of the golds. Although it looks brown. Another Ellie De La Cruz, Stars of MLB, so that's pretty solid. And then a low-numbered card, so we did good on this one at least. So, at least getting out of 99, I guess that makes that box worth it uh, to a degree. Uh, that's an interesting variation of some sort. Still not sure what that is, but it's got cardboard back. So it's basically like if this was... A card from the 80s but you know if it was 2024 what they would have done in the 80s I guess uh, because that's got a regular plain cardboard back and I like that that's cool because I like old style classic baseball cards all right so two Ellie De La Cruz's uh, two numbered cards a couple chrome yeah it's it's pretty good Except all the rookies are 90% pitchers, so that's kind of like Gypsy Queen, and I think that was one of the problems with Gypsy Queen. Although you got guaranteed autographs, it was always pitchers. Not always, but often pitchers, because Gypsy Queen was the early, one of the earlier sets in the year. All right, so folks, uh, we're already at 38 minutes. We might as well just make it a few minutes longer so that I can see what we got in this one. Felt a little heavier than the other packs that I felt in that box, so maybe there's a relic or something in this one. As of course we'll get to the mini last. Yeah, speak of the devil. Brandon Marsh. Off centered. A little this way. Alright, Jose Abreu. Love Alan and Ginter. Rookie of Libra Tor. So keep in mind these are 2023. Came out near the end of the year. Alright, Jose Pena. Oh, sorry, Jeremy Pena. Sorry, Jeremy. Epic 2023 design. Just beautiful. Alright. Hammer and Hank Aaron. Dustin Pedroia and our insert is music to your ears the claves so nothing much there unless you're you know second year card Jeremy there now we got a rookie so you never know some solid players but you know 
And a Rainy is a short print. It is Ryan Nelson. So I believe this should be maybe a rookie. Yep. So Ryan Nelson rookie card, and that looks pretty well centered. Uh, really good looking uh, design. The minis really pop. Uh, just the border looks great on those with the ribbon. Um, usually the green one or the blue is a little poppier, but that's some color match that they did on Alan and Ginter. I love tobacco minis, and I'm happy to have that card in my collection as a short print. Um, but no hits. So, all right, there you go, folks. Uh, that's what I have for you. Some old school oddball. Some not as old school, but old school oddballs. So, there you go, folks. The progression of cards through the years. From the early teens, 1900s, to the 80s. To the 90s and beyond so all right folks thanks for watching old style classics baseball cards hope you enjoyed this and uh, as far as 2024 tops goes I give it a thumbs up definitely um, is a perfect no but other than it being uh, overproduced in my understanding um, solid all right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a good day.